This is the Talent, Sales, and Scale Show. Like, I know that you do a lot of work on the community front. Like, when you think about micro learning and the real time access, this is one of the massive wins for community, too, right? If you've got a, a place where you can crowdsource, hey, I'm working on this project charter for, you know, my new sales enablement department. And like, I'm having trouble like aligning stakeholders or whatever. Has anybody worked through this or, you know, is anybody able to help me with this specific problem right now? And then either people respond on those threads with the answer or they tag a friend, like phone a friend style. And so that that person is able to source their answer, crowdsourced it, right? So it's a it's quality answer. But then generally what I see in somebody that's, you know, played with data inside communities is the relationship that forms there with that one person. You now know who you can go to directly when you're in, in another moment where, um, you know, you need help with something and whatever. So you've found somebody that's able to help. And so the relationships that are formed and strengthened when we apply um, this, this micro learning real-time need with community is just next level. Yeah, and that's one of the things that I want to do, because I know on your podcast, you have more short format, right? So you have some long, but also some short formats, too. It's, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. it's new. It's like I'm always be changing and iterating. So I'm not just like, do as I say, not as I do, friends. Like, I'm actually trying to do this. But yes, I do I mix it up. So I haven't told James Bowden this. So James Bowden is the one that cuts cuts and slices all the podcasts and posts and whatnot. What, what I'd ulti ultimately like to do is have vignettes on this and drop the different smaller vignettes um, because I think that's what people will go to. They're going to listen to that. I know whenever I'm looking on, flipping around on YouTube for stuff to learn or stuff to look at, I'm not watching the hour format, right? And here I am doing an hour long show. And, um, it, but it, it's how do you break it down? And that was kind of my idea the whole entire time is break things down, have tools and infographics and all of these helpful pieces to, to, to go along with that long form to be able to break it down. So it's, uh, what do they call it? Multi-purposing, right? Mm-hmm. And it's, it's funny that you said this too, because it almost comes back to your original point about people have different learning styles. You can create a, like right now we're recording on video. This is going to be a podcast. You mentioned video a couple of times. I don't know if you have a YouTube channel, but it's, you've got your transcripts that you can pull and you can again, repurpose just one piece of content in very simply or easily can create processes to do this or, you know, outsource as needed. Um, but it's not zero sum, 